Hi, welcome back to carsaddiction.com. If you're new to the channel, I'm Ryan and we share car related content every Wednesday and Sunday. Wednesday is a short snippet of any car encounter we come across and Sunday is a full fledged video of approach that I'm doing, one of my cars or anything else car related. Now for today we're going to be discussing the Porsche 997 cluster and giving you a full depth review of what information you can find here. Now immediately when you open the door, you immediately are presented with the current mileage of the car, the trip counter, which key you're using, and the clock. Now, if this was completely off, all you have to do to get this information without the key in the ignition, so there's no key in the ignition, all you have to do is press the trip counter over there. So the three buttons that control the cluster would be the trip counter, the clock and this stock right behind the steering wheel which is located right over here now obviously to start controlling it we need to put in our key so let's do so and put it on ignition at least now what we want to do now is illuminate the cluster by doing so we just turn on the headlights into this position or that one and that is illuminated. Now all we have to do is to adjust the brightness of the cluster is just flip this left or right and the intensity of the cluster together with the buttons of the controls over here will go higher or lower. If I push this button over here it will reset the mileage as well. Zero miles. 35,919 is my current mileage. Okay, uh, this is my current uh, go to screen, the navigation. That's the time. There's that dot on the bottom to show that it is PM. And my, the temperature outside. To adjust the time, you just long press this and then toggle this left or right to change the time. Press once to confirm it and do the same thing for the minutes. Okay, we have our oil temperature here, our speedo, our rev counter. Um, since this is the center gauge, there's gonna be much more information than usual. What we have is our indicators, our hazards, that's that. We also have our high beams. Okay. We have our low tire pressure sensor. Our car is not equipped with it, but all Porsche 99 and 7s have that icon. We have our ABS check. Uh, this light will stay on if the ABS has an issue, but it, it briefly goes on before you start the car just to make sure all the lights are working. You have your check engine, same thing. It briefly lights up just to make sure it's working. It will turn off when the engine is on. We have our normal warning light that um, that could be mean anything actually it could be in that have low fuel low washer fluid something in the message system over here that was shown previously so that I can come in a lot of things are just you know to be careful of something and to get it checked you have your traction control icon that means it's off or there's an issue with it and that is your handbrake icon which will illuminate when the handbrake is up and um, if the handbrake is down, which it is at the moment, that will turn off once the car starts. It also shows if there's problems with the brakes. You have your seatbelt icon, just to make sure you have your seatbelt on or off. And amongst other icons, which I'll share on the screen now to get a full list. Then you have your water temperature your fuel gauge and your oil pressure. Okay, now the main tutorial of this would be the central unit over here, which is called the onboard computer. Now to control that, all you have to do is reach for that third stock, which is here. This goes towards you, outwards, up and down. So at the moment it is set to the default, the navigation, we wanna hit towards the front of the car and we are immediately set with some menu options mainly set oil navi audio chrono 
info and limit let's start limit now while you're driving you can actually set the current miles per hour you're going or kilometers per hour or manually set it yourself what this does is basically if you're if i'm driving at 70 miles per hour it will just give me a gentle beep in the cockpit just to make sure i'm aware that i'm hitting on the limit Porsches are very comfortable and you won't be aware that you're onto the limit and this is a nice feature to have. And this toggle towards the car is to enable it or disable it. I'd like to have it active. Now if I hit towards myself that means I'm going outwards the menu. So inwards towards the cluster is to activate and towards yourself is to exit. So info uh, is messages, so in case that exclamation mark means something. Um, obviously I have no current message. The reason that all this is on is because I just didn't start the engine yet. Over here we have our service information. It's telling me I need a service now. And that is true because I haven't given a service in the past year. Now for that to go away, we'll need to connect to the OBD2 port using a Foxwell scan or something similar to get that message removed once we do the service. That cannot be done through the menus over here. Telephone, so we have our dialed numbers, our received calls, so our phone book, so we can immediately just dial a number. Our chrono, so basically we can start our chrono, stop it, reset it, and there's intermediate time to do like new laps and whatnot. I go in depth into this in another video. We have our audio. So basically, um, depending what are you using at the moment, uh, you can toggle through the tracks. So at the moment I'm playing a CD, but if I was on to say the radio, that will change into radio stations. And I could quickly change the radio stations from, he from here. Navigation is quite actually straightforward. Your recent destinations, just click towards the car and it will set that as a destination. We have our stored destinations and to enable the route guidance in this area or not. We can de deactivate that. Our oil so as you know that Porsche 997s don't have a dipstick it's all electronically measured so that is done through over here what we need to do in this case is start the car and follow the pro uh, procedure in this menu and that will give us like an indicator of our engine oil level and the main menu of this is the settings so we can reset so we can reset all the information that we're just gonna go through now. We can reset the miles per gallon. That just means clicking it towards the car. We can reset the average speed marked during the current trip. And we can reset the trip counter itself, which we already done by clicking this as a long press. We have our units, so we have our speedometer, we can do in kilometers or miles. So if I click on kilometers, it will switch accordingly and miles like that. Again, this is just due to preference, what you prefer. We have liters per 100 kilometers, miles per gallon US or miles per gallon UK, or kilometers per liter for your economy, for your consumption temperatures in celsius or fahrenheit again if we change that you could see that changing 64 fahrenheit which is equal to 18 degrees celsius and that's about it for there the units display so our center display is this right over here uh, during a call we can have the telephone information show over here or not once it is activated it's up to you uh, we can have it show us our current remain remaining range for the fuel we have 
our audio information are just empty. So if I click on remaining range, go completely out. It will show that way. Now I could actually change that without going into that menu, just toggling it up or down. Okay, let's go back where we were. So center display, audio, hit out, up and down. So let's get, just get back where we were, display, that is that, empty will show completely nothing. Okay, that was your display. What we have here is navigation. You have it integrated or turned off. Our basic settings, click again, is set. I'm not sure what that is. Language, what language you want this over here to be, and I think it will change as well over here. Leave it at English, but just so you know, it is French. Spanish, Italian, Japanese, and German. Clock can either have 12 hour format or 24. Again, by clicking it, it just will adjust on the fly. No need to do any other further setting. Light, you have your DRLs be able to be controlled right over here. So that's enabled, that's disabled. Enabled, get out, and that's it. Hope you found this video very useful. Thanks for watching. Take care.